Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Early stream, everybody. A rare piece in stream. <laughs> Hi, Chip. Welcome in. You're early, man. Forgotten land is so good. What is that? Kirby. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought it was Kirby, but I wasn't sure. Our AC is fixed, everybody. I can stream. I think it's going to take a, a, a bit for it to kick in, though. Because we did change the filter, but I think the fans aren't working at full capacity. Like, our thermostat still reads 70, but it feels like it's 60. So... It could just be like, I don't know, our HVAC is not prepared for this type of weather. But it's still cool enough to function, which is what we need. You're getting Taco Bell? Ooh! What you getting? Are you getting breakfast? I was tempted to get Taco Bell. I was like, nah. I had regular breakfast shit for breakfast today. Oh yeah, it's... <laughs> I forgot East Coast. It's almost 10 for me. But I also did um, some more meal prep this morning, and I made salmon that has mayonnaise, seasoning, and then parmesan. And then you just lather it on top of your filet. Dude, it's so good. One more minute, everybody. Oh. I've been getting more sleep recently, but I've been like more tired. It's weird. I have so much homework to do tomorrow. <laughs> like, so much. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, I'm kidding. I'm not streaming. Uh, <laughs> imagine. I want to do a stream like another idea I had for April Fools was go live for only my starting soon screen but then I think I saw what's his name 
point crow do that bit? Like he did a it was starting to the screen for like six fucking hours, and that was a good bit. But a five minute stream would fucking kill my analytics, so ain't doing that bit. And this is all natural lighting right now, no ring lights are on. Because I get a lot of nice light very early. I mean, it's not too, it's only 9.45 for me, so it's not too early. It's only like an hour and a half normal than usual, but. Okay, we good. Uh, yesterday, we did the Japanese snack taste test stream. Went a little bit crazy with the roommates, guys, at the roomies in Jen. <laughs> it was such a, they did good. They did good. And we also hit 100 subs. And that's also why we have a bonus stream today. Early stream, everybody. I am going to be beating the entirety of the Cult of Lamb DLC. Just kidding, I don't have enough time for that. <laughs> uh, how long would that stream be, even? <laughs> That'd go crazy. No, 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 no. I ain't doing that. I, I could never do, like, a marathon. Stream ends when I beat the game. Stream. I, I could never. Um... But the title is true. I'm gonna be playing on easy mode for the rest of my playthrough. Just because I, I want to get through the DLC. I, I just want to see the lore. I don't- I'm not a tryhard, okay? I'm not- I'm- I'm not. <laughs> so... Also, Morning Megan is very tired, so... We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm not gonna do more morning streams. The only reason I'm going live early today, I'll stream till, like, latest noon. Because I have... I have to go with my sister or something today, so... But she doesn't want to go alone. Hey. I forgot to get my viewfinder. I always forget. I set up my camera every day and I... Cause like, you know the little panel? I always forget to put it down cause it blocks my TV. I swear it's not a bit. I swear it doesn't- I don't do it on purpose to add 10 seconds of uptime, everybody. It's not- it's not a bit. Dude, who's here in the morning? I don't know who's here. Don't- don't chant. Sorry, that was weird. Because <laughs> I, I never stream in the morning. It's kind of like whenever I stream in the evening, we get different people. Okay, let's continue. Last week, I beat a Darkwood DLC boss. We have two more to beat. Hopefully I do it today, smile. Just got out of work, let's go! Did you get out early today? Short shift? <laughs> okay. Let's get our base situated. And everybody, you can use your channel points and you can join my cult. Any culters? Glorious leader, we caught Fabry stealing from another cult member. We demand justice. Please, leader, imprison them. I love slave labor. Hey, where are they? Where's the criminal? Thank you for redeeming that. It's <laughs> Niche? Of course, Kim is a snitch. I think my left Joy-Con is busted. Like, whenever I move the directional stick, it doesn't... You have to, like, really... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do this to piss you guys off. Capital K. <laughs> also, everybody's sleeping right now, so I have to be, I have to be quiet. something else we can be an owl okay my left joystick is actually fucking broken oh it did Fuck me dude 
like I, I have to really press. I used to be a die-hard pro controller fan. Oh. I swear to god, this is not on purpose. I'm just tired. There we go, Mac. Why? Okay, it's actually drifting. It's actually fucked. Yeah, I'm gonna try reconnect my controller. Did my sister, like, swap out the Joy-Cons to fuck with me? Yeah, I reconnected him. That was having that mad drift. Anyway, I used to be a die-hard pro controller fan because I like how it felt in my hands, but the buttons were too big. And I noticed with the Joy-Con buttons, they're smaller, so they're easier for me to press because I have little baby hands. Okay, we have one more person. Anybody want to join my cult? Okay, back to work. I've wasted so much time. Oh my god. It's okay, it's fine. Everything's a-okay. Maybe that's why I'm bad at Mario Kart. It's my silly little Joy-Cons. controllers busted um i don't i'm not rough with them like i don't i don't rage quit and throw them i've never done that because raging is bad it makes other people feel unsafe so maybe we just have like bad controller rng also we've had them for years because my sister got her switch back in when it came out so like 2016 17 i think right and she never bought any, like, um, new Joy-Cons. This stuff is still working? Oh, maybe my sister threw them or something. <laughs> I don't know. Never know with her. She's kind of crazy. Okay, I only have 61 bones. thing I did to my control was like toss it on my bed <laughs> that that's not too bad right <laughs> or no wait no actually there's been so many times where like okay so many I mean like three three like three times I would play the switch and then it would fall out of my hands as I fell asleep on the bed so may maybe that could be it <laughs> Actually, uh oh. Nah, I'll, I'll buy some new Joy Cons probably. In like six months. I 
could get another pro controller, but a lot of the cool looking ones are wired. I don't get why they can't make nice looking wireless ones. And, well, okay, serious question. Why do people prefer the wired ones? I don't like being tethered to my TV. Hey, who do I need to lock up? Bedroom. Right. Where are you? Watching. <laughs> to jail you go. <laughs> that is what you get for stealing. Actually, I'll let you go now. You better not steal again. Oh, there's an input delay? Oh. Okay. So should I get a wired controller? Because I've always been like hesitant to. Let's get our demons. Okay, maybe I will consider a wired one at some point. Robin, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hey, Robin, if you want to join the cult, use your channel points. You have somebody in you who's ready to join. Or followers ready. <laughs> I mean, it's not substantial to you. You don't play any games competitively, competitively or anything that every second is important. I play Mario Camp. God damn it, I can't talk. I play Mario Kart. <laughs> I can't talk. Dude, I was fumbling so many words yesterday. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. So, a bit. Did you write my name in rainbow? Was that the other day, Robin? Wait, let me see. If that was the other day. Because I know you don't watch the whole stream, Robin. Oh yeah, I did. Sub only, guys. I would not do this normally, Robin, but I did. Smile. <laughs> it's <a> lay. <laughs> Yeah, usually we do calligraphy at the very end, so if you ever miss it, you can just go back on the stream VOD or the video tab and just skip to the end if you want to see it. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I do post it on Twitter too. Oh, follow my Twitter everybody! Of oh, exclamation Twitter in chat. Shameless blog. Fuck me, oh my god. Okay, so a bit that everybody does whenever I play games at home or with friends is I like to do voices, okay? Like, you know how we did for any story game we play? I like to do voices. So, a bit... I will ask whoever I'm playing with, I'm like, do you want me to read the dialogue? And they're like, sure. And they will always skip the dialogue as I'm talking. Like, they'll let me... They'll let me, um read like two words and then they'll skip <laughs> and it, it's so funny it's always the same three voices okay dude okay i can do more i can do more <laughs> shut up my my i'm not actually practicing my range is gonna be somewhat limited okay okay i i think i'm ready now <laughs> yeah, I know you're trolling, Mac. I know. It's just I'm I'm just waking up. I've actually been up since six. It, it's kind of fucked because anytime I set my alarm, I usually wake up an hour by default before. So, like, if I set my alarm for a 9, I'll wake up at 8. And I've been setting my alarm for 7. And now I'm waking up at 6. I don't 
don't know why I keep doing it. I think because like subconsciously, I'm like, I want to wake up before my alarm. Because if I wake up at, like, right when my alarm goes off, I get anxious. I'm like, damn, I'm already, like, late, but I'm still, like, on time. Oh, yeah, this is easy mode! <laughs> I was like, damn, why am I killing these guys so fast? I love easy mode! You know what else I love? <laughs> nah, we aren't gonna do S. Okay, I feel like easy mode would be a good mode to get the hammer in. Cause that is the only weapon that I need to like, practice practice. Increase curse attack damage by 1.25 or gain an extra half a heart. I'll do half a heart. Never have too much health. Okay, 10% chance of getting a blue heart when killing an enemy or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. Since this is an easy run, they have less health, so I'll do the blue heart. I love baby mode. <laughs> Maybe I can try, like, not dodging as much. Because I rely a lot on, um... What you call it? He was summoned a demon to his system battle. I rely a lot on the dodge roll. So maybe I just won't dodge anymore. Oh shit, <laughs> I mixed up my buttons. <laughs> Wait, which- oh, X is attack. <laughs> okay, never mind, I fucked the no dodge run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, meat. I don't need- I have a lot of food at home. I need followers. Guys, can we get to a million followers today? The easy mode is like too easy. <laughs> but on honestly, I just want to get through Darkwood because the other worlds are gonna are gonna be harder. When you do speed runs in games, do they like let you do easy mode? A double gold, but enemies drop poison. Not bad. Bro! It would be a different category? Yeah, because I know for every game there's like different specific runs you can do. And some have like different rules that you have to follow. 
But if I ever did a speedrun, I would do a run that lets you do easy mode. I had an extra tab open. Okay, we're good. Cool. Uh, how are we doing heavy tag? Oh, sh fuck you, man. What? How? Oh, that was my heavy attack. Okay, because every weapon has a slightly different heavy attack. Dude, oh my god, I have half a heart left. Oh no. Oh, thank you. It gave me a heart, dude. It's not really so much damage I was taking. in size. Nah, that sounds dumb. I don't want it to be like, honey, we shrunk the kids again. Did that? That movie franchise is so funny. <laughs> it's just the sequels. It's like, dude, how'd you do this shit again? <laughs> like about easy mode is that it, they just give you a lot of health. You know, the game knows what I want, or rather needs desperately. <laughs> Mistake. Mistake. You have 102 subs? Yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> no, wait, no, I don't want to sacrifice health. 
Oh my god, I, I, I forgot. Nah, it's just my viewers are very generous and kind. You <laughs> don't let disability. <laughs> no, 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 no. The only thing that they need to like see is um any like pay stubs I get. And since your income is compounded monthly, it counts as like contract work. So um I only really need to submit my Twitch income every year. Because they concluded, based off of my 2022 income, that I get an average of 100 a month. So probably during this year, I'll probably get an average of like 200 a month. But that's considering like low and high lows. Like the most I ever made in a month on Twitch was last August during the subathon. And I think my keep was like 300. Which is the most I've ever made. Wait, 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 prediction! Yeah, they said I can get a food card, but the issue is, um, any food stamps you use have to go towards your food. So any food I buy with the food card... Hey, fuck this guy. Has to go towards my food, so. Whoa, whoa, okay, that was cool. Oh fuck. Like, it, like, let's say I buy like chicken, I would have to eat that chicken theoretically. No, I missed. I'm missing. Dude, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Dude, I'm so close. Go, go, come on. First try. Easy. How are they gonna know? Well, if I admit on stream, bozo, <laughs> they will know. <laughs> but, um, the, the reason why they- Oh no, cool, Bobo has died! P927. Um, the reason why you can't use it for other people is because then they would be considered as using government benefits when they should not be entitled to those benefits. It's so, it does seem kind of silly that it can't be used for the household collective, but the reason why, okay, with food stamps in particular, you can file for your individual self or the household. So if I were to apply on my own, I'd be eligible because I don't make any money. Or max 100 to 200 from Twitch. Which does not cover my basic essentials. It doesn't even cover my rent. That's being paid for by my sister. So if I were to file for food stamps, I would get approved. But any mo money I would use um, would have to be just for me. So it would have to be for my groceries, not anybody else's. Because if the roommates used my food stamp card or if they used the food that I bought, then it would be them using government benefits. So if, if you ever get caught doing that, it's considered, like, fraud. It, it's weird, the, the rules around it. So they can choose to apply for food benefits on their own, but they make too much money. Because there's a certain threshold to be eligible for different types of government benefits, depending on what state you live in, right? But my sister and my other roommate, they make too much money to be eligible. So if we filed as a household, we would we would not be approved. Do 
Yeah, um, we were gonna get those cards set up once we all get settled in. Because we did a little bit of grocery shopping yesterday, but my sister went, so she paid. Glorious leader! Some elders have been cast from their cult and now seek a place to enjoy their final years. Maybe we should let them join ours? I'll take them. I don't care. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get those cards set up next week. Max old. <laughs> the only thing that's kind of a bummer is that it's been about two weeks since I last talked to DSHS and they still haven't processed my paperwork yet. And they said it should take Max a week, so I'm just like, uh, okay, dude. Because in Washington, you have a 30-day window in which your application has to be approved, or I guess processed. So if they're dragging their feet, then that's problem. Because typically what happens if, is if it doesn't get processed within 30 days, then it's an instant denial. Um... But the reason why they give you 30 days is so you can, like, gather the documents and the paperwork you need. Which I was able to submit right away, essentially. Because I already knew what I needed to collect. I applied last year. I mean, we'll see. Well, hopefully it works out. Because, like, ultimately it'll just be, like, a, a less of a burden on my sister, you know? And, like, I've also had, like, friends, like reach out and be like, oh, you know, I can give you some money if you need to. And it's like, eh. I appreciate it, but it, it kind of feels like I don't want to be, like, given an allowance, you know? Because one of my friends is like, oh, you know, I can give you, like, a hundred bucks a month that way you can, like, buy shit. Like, extra shit, like a coffee or whatever. I'm like, eh. I, I don't need it. I appreciate it, but I don't need it. And also, I would have to disclose that hundred dollars that they did give it to me. But it, it, there's so many, like, things you have to be careful about. I get really annoyed with people who, in reference to, like, people who are in poverty or people who are homeless, where they say, oh, they can just get help, when in reality it's not that easy. If you don't have a phone or if you don't have access to the internet, it's very hard to apply for benefits. It's also very hard to, like, call them every week, because with certain benefits you do have to call the operator every week. Um, and then let's make some food so if you're already like experiencing so much hardship and you have like more and more barriers and hoops you have to jump through it's very hard but i guess muster the mental energy to do it and i'm not saying that it's hard to apply it's fairly easy but it's much more difficult if you don't have the documents you need, or if you don't have somebody helping you or supporting you. And I've gone in person to the, like, DSHS offices a few times. Um, and most of the staff are nice. But it's still, like, kind of embarrassing to be there. And it's also really upsetting, because the offices are always full. There's always like 50 people waiting in line and it's, it's very like when I every time I've gone I've always felt like really sad afterwards because um j just seeing all the people 
who are actively like in person getting assistance all i can think about is all the people who aren't it makes me really sad Also, something you don't really because I had no idea about all this shit until like I needed the help and I, I was thinking about this the other day and I was gonna tweet this out actually but I couldn't think of a word a way to word it without it being like too I guess lived up but it was essentially I really hope all the people will advocate for more right-leading policies, more capitalist policies, more policies that diminish the accessibility to government resources, housing, Medicaid. I want those people to become homeless. I want them to understand the gravity of what they're promoting and what they're taking away from people. Because they don't understand that those Policies are in place to help those who need it. It's not for everybody. Not everybody will need government assistance. I'm not talking about UBI. I'm talking about food stamps, affordable housing, or not affordable housing, um, long-term shelters, that type of thing. Because in actuality, not many people choose to become homeless. A lot of people do choose to stay. That's a whole different argument. Because if you get laid off and you haven't been able to save, you're kinda fucked, right? And that can happen to anybody. That's why those programs and policies are in place to help those people who just pulled the short straw, you know? So in my opinion, anybody who doesn't advocate for I guess, underlying socialist policy demonstrates that they lack that empathy. That they themselves never see them in any part of their future needing that form of assistance. But in actuality, it can happen to anybody. Anyway, cause that's what I was thinking about the other day, but it was hard for me to, to write it in a way that was like, God, fuck. <laughs> that wasn't like too lived up. Oh no! damage during the day or get an extra full heart. I'll take the full heart, please. A higher chance of relics spawning or 20% more damage during the day. I don't, I don't give a fuck about relics. I'll take the damage. supposed to destroy his money oh no I forgot the statue has given you 10 wood and 10 stone damn it okay I don't I don't need read I'm just gonna cop his I'm gonna steal Okay, okay, let's see. I 
I need followers. Damn, I need to buy followers too, I keep forgetting. Because in order to unlock the other worlds, you need followers. frustrates me with the combat is anytime I attack, I only attack to the side. Even if I'm facing up or down, I the character always swipes to the left or swipes to the right. It's another thing that kind of throws me off. And then in turn, only a few enemies can attack up and down. I would also like to clarify about like government benefits and resources for the homeless and people in poverty. I've always been an advocate for those policies. Like, I don't think many like young people are political. Mainly because unless you live in a world in which that type of shit like impacts you daily, you don't really think about it, right? So in like high school and shit, I was like aware of things going on, and I think more so. Oh no, Mac has died. Who's I two seven Mac? Um, because I worked at a daycare that was meant for like low income families. They so kind of like saw more, hear more from the parents and the kids about their struggles. So that kind of gave me a bit more perspective in like high school. But then once I graduated, like I would research shit online, you know, read articles, all that jazz. Oh, hello, sir. Me, what a night of wander. Oh, what a night for a wander. The air seems different. Bob and me, we're taking a break from dice for the night. We'll head back to Rattau soon. He's a good rat, Rattau. Took me and Bob and when we had nowhere to go. That's why he is a great leader. Loved by all. You are too, of course. Okay, I don't I don't give a fuck about that lore. Anyway, so like I've always been an advocate for those policies. Because I think another indicator is that similar to like people who experience trauma become activists in that uh, drama. Like I, I've always been somebody who wanted the government to provide more. It's not that I became disabled and became an activist. Like it did open my eyes a bit more, but I'm still always like the idea of the government providing more shit. I'll take an axe. Oh, it's a godly axe. Holy. Because I do believe that people will vote for like elections and also local elections if it's concerning policies that directly affect them. Well, that's worse. Okay. That's kind of why a lot of people say, Oh, I'm fiscally Republican, but socially a Democrat. <laughs> like, that just means they're still gonna vote for Republican policies because they prioritize their assets. Over people! Um, God, envy. And there's also, like, voters who... will vote only when it issues that are topical, like um, abortion rights is a big one, that I feel like got a lot of people to vote that wouldn't have voted in local elections. Okay, enemies have a chance to drop a fish. But I think ultimately, you have to make sure your morality and policies are, I was gonna say coherent, but that's not the right word, are consistent. Like you can't just jump ship. 
Just because it'll benefit you directly. You need to think about the greater good. Final boss, everybody! Heavy like Animal Crossing? Yeah. I mean, in the morning is when I do most of my thinking. Because that's when I usually go on like my morning walks and shit. And that's where like I also see a lot of like hardship. Um. I can't leak. Because if if I say too much, it will leak. <laughs> Ooh, I mean the poison. Love that. But <gasps> receive double the health when healing. Oh my god. Oh wait, that probably isn't helpful now. Enemies will drop two times more fervor. Actually, I'll do the two times more fervor. Um, I think the most I can say is that in my hometown. There were a lot of um, homeless people because what was happening was they would um, what, what's the how, how, how do I say it? Wait, I need to remember this properly because like ten years ago, it wasn't as big a concern as it is as it is now. Because just in general, there's a lot of homeless people on, like, the the east and west coast because it's just easier to transit yourself. It's easier. There's usually more resources on coastal states. Um, in California, it's warmer, so that's why there's a lot of homeless population in California and Hawaii because it's just better weather, therefore better living conditions outside. I think it's because there's been policy changes throughout Washington in several cities to where they will do nightly sweeps. So if they see people like sleeping outside or hanging out outside, they will detain them or they will mandatorily like put them in a temporary shelter. And then, but it doesn't give them like a permanent place to stay. So usually at night, there's less people out and about now, but in like in the morning, there's a lot more people out and about and I'm not saying it's a problem it's just like they're they're destroying they're intentionally destroying like the shelters they make which I think is wrong because when you have nothing right it's very hard to when you have your only shelter being a tent and they take that away or they destroy it, that to me is cruel. Especially if you don't give them like a long-term space to live in. Yeah, I agree. Doing like the sweeps is not helping them. It's getting them out of the public eye and that's not solving the problem. It, it's not solving it. It's only so the people who have a house People who use the sidewalks don't have to interact with the homeless people. I agree why some people can be scared or concerned, but not every single person who is unhoused is violent. 
They're just trying to get by. I can understand if you feel discomfort. But that doesn't mean they're any less of a human. Anyway, so going back to what I was saying. So I see a lot of struggle when I go on my, my walks. Um, and it, it's like just a reminder of how the system is working but also not working. Because like I was saying earlier, you are able to get benefits, you are able to get help, but it's very difficult. Yeah, I agree too. Like, if they can't drive, they rely on public transit. And also, like, when they destroy the camps, they fucking destroy all their shit. And when you have nothing, the little things you have mean everything to you. And because most people who are unhoused are mentally ill and to some capacity. And being outside will make you fucking mentally ill. It will make you go crazy. That's why, like, I don't think the sweeps are the right thing to do. It, to me, it's cruel. Um, you think Washington has a housing problem? Um, property values are increasing, so it's basically very difficult to buy property. It's also rental rates are increasing because um, usually in more densely populated areas, um, rental rates will be higher because there is less living space to go around. Um, I know Inslee has been passing long-term policies, like policies that will be done in by like 2030 2050 in terms of like building long-term housing for the homeless but the problem is insley is not re running so we don't know if those policies will actually be enacted or kept so because the issue with homelessness oh hi kim welcome in is it's not you can't fix it now there's so many things that need to be changed there needs to be more mental health resources there needs to be more um, accessibility to government resources. There needs to be, um, more, um, housing that has, like, mental health resources on site. There needs to be long-term rehabilitation programs because, similar to people who enlist in the army, it's very hard for them to reassimilate back to the normal city life, right? Because they go from, um, high intense situations, not necessarily combat, but, um, Going from that to, like, just normal rinky-dink life, it's very hard to adjust to. So, similar in that sense, if you go from the streets or go from, like, couch surfing, it's very hard to, like, mentally prepare yourself and be uh, not normal. That's not the right word. But being able to, I guess, function in the modern American society. Because modern society tells you that you need a job. You need a house, you need a family, right? But those things are very hard to maintain if you can't, if you don't have a job, if you don't have a roof over your head. Because um, when you're homeless, like, I've talked to people who have, like, couch surfed. I've had a few friends who have gotten very close to being on the streets. Um, if you don't have somewhere to go home to, that adds so many extra barriers. And once you don't have somewhere to go, that creates so many more problems. Um, I don't- there is no short-term solution. The only thing that can be done is long-term policy change that is actually done. And also, fucking Republican states need to stop bussing people to California or other libertarian states. When they don't have the resources ready. Who was it? Was it DeSantis? Or was it Abbott? Who was like bussing people to like... Um, what's it called? What's the vice president's name? Kamala's house? What? Who was that? That was some crazy shit. Like... When they pull little stunts like that, it's just optics. And you're exploiting vulnerable people for optics. And it's disgusting. Um, Meg phone streamer. Also, I need to run an ad because we're an hour in the stream. If you're not sub watching a sub only stream, um, scrub, g subscribe. I 
I also need to get my water. I think anybody who doesn't agree with more safeguards in place for poverty people or people who are homeless or skirting on the edge of homelessness, they should sleep outside for a day. See what happens. And then they'll be like, oh, I don't want anybody to live like this. Oh, I had a co-worker who was homeless. I remember now. Um, like, she lived on the streets, and I, I felt... Because I didn't know. Because I remember she would come into work, like, really stinky. And I thought she was just, like, unclean. But then somebody told me she was homeless. And um, it's very sad. Because it was very hard for her to keep jobs. Because if you can't, like, wash yourself. If you don't have access to, like, a laundromat. Or, like, even, like, a safe, clean place to sleep in. It's very hard. Because for that individual, she and her mom were homeless. And I think she was, like, very early 20s. And it's just sad. And I think because she was working, she wasn't, like, making... She was making too much money for certain benefits. Like, there's different types you can get, but... She wasn't eligible for a lot of assistance because she was working. It's kind of fucked. And my phone streamer! I remember she ended up getting fired. Not- it was not my choice. Because this was back when- ooh, boss fight time! You guys know what to do. Will I beat the boss? Um, I was not management at the time, but this is when I like first started my- one of my food service jobs. Um, she was fired because she arrived late to work too many times. And also she had- um, issues. Like, she had, she had anger issues. Like, she would pop up at work sometimes. But, like, looking back, I understand why she was, like, stressed out all the time. Oh, he's busted. <laughs> time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Time to put an end. End this. Can he still his followers? Scrub? Oh, oh no, oh no. Bless you. Oh shit. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's kind of bad. It's kind of a bad curse. Potato, yes, I'm playing baby mode. Welcome in. Oh, I'm out of purple. Smile. I'm mainly doing baby mode just so I can get through the story. <laughs> Humor it. Dude, baby mode is so easy. <laughs> oh, did I like gouge his eyes out? Awkward. Oh, he's so sad. Because I killed him twice. In game. In Minecraft. He looks kind of busted. Two eyes only. Like, I beat his ass twice.
Okay, let's get out of here. Fifteen minute run. Oh, 13, not bad. Damn. Did I beat the boss? Yes, sir. Yeah, the main difference between normal and easy is that the enemies have a bit more health. Shepherd of souls. Guide them now into the after so they may not lose their way. And also, when you play normal mode, it you get fewer hearts than easy mode. You just got subway. Ooh, what'd you get? I I got really close to getting subway recently, and I hated myself for it. I'm not gonna give in. Okay, you ever go to subway and you go to the same location, and sometimes it's like really good, and then sometimes the bread is ass. Because the thing that I've noticed is that when you train people at Subway, everybody has their kind of their own way of doing things, even though there's like a corporate direction, right? Like, there's like corporate directions you're supposed to follow. There's people who do shit their own way still. So that's why sometimes when you go to any fast food, it might be like really good and then really ass. But I think Subway especially, since they bake bread in-house, it's very easy for you to fuck up the bread. The meatball Oh yeah, you said you got the meatball pepperoni. Is that like your go-to? I would have a regular who would get that build all the time. They would get it with nothing on it and just parmesan at the end. Easiest sandwich of the whole goddamn day. I loved it. Ooh, do they have the fresh mozzarella again? Because I think it was a few years ago when they had the... Ooh, it was the rotisserie chicken with pesto drizzle sauce and the fresh mozzarella. Ooh, so good. That was my favorite build. Ooh, the ciabatta bread. The ciabatta bread was so easy to make because it was... Can I leak? <laughs> okay. Um, Subway. Subway. I worked at Subway, guys. Subway. Not Subway. No way. Um... He goes, oh, does anybody want to join my cult? Anybody? But all of, like, the bread loaves they have, like, the foot-long loaves, those are baked in house. So, um, thank you both for redeeming. Thank you, thank you. So, like, we get the dough frozen, like, dough sticks. And then, um, we would still, like, proof, which is where you rise the dough. And then bake it. But with the ciabatta bread, it was frozen. So, you could just toss it in the oven and it's already pre shaped, pre made. You just gotta bake it. Easy as shit. <sighs> Can we have a Subway cosplay like Trisha Pita's? <laughs> you know, unless Subway sponsors me, imagine I get a Subway sponsor. That'd go crazy. You know what? I would love to work on the subway line again. Like, making sandwiches was so much fun. Guys, would you cancel me if I did, like, a subway sponsor? <laughs> That's the only sponsor I would take. Like, just... I would love... What if we did a subway POV stream? Dude, that would go crazy. Cause like you ever like you know those story time videos you see where it's like POV them working at Subway or Dairy Queen. I looked into a McDonald's one. Wait, what did I would love? But Subway, if you're watching, I will stop shit talking if you let me do a POV Subway stream. We rent out a Subway for a few hours for a whole day. I work a whole shift. We leak the address. We have viewers come in. I make their sandwiches, dude. I actually. Please, Subway, do it. <laughs> Please. I'd travel for that. It would be a fun stream. Oh. I'd take the train. Oh. 
kalabayan. Ah. What if they invite me to Subway HQ? <laughs> Oh, but then they're gonna make me say that, ooh, Subway is so fresh and healthy. Ew. I don't think I could do that, guys. <laughs> I put a three instead of an E. Eleven o'clock. I should be like fully awake by now. At least make the M capital. No, I do that now to piss you guys off. Cause it's hilarious. Does anybody else want to join our cult? Any other redeemers? Right now. Oh my god, I only have twelve followers. That's actually really bad. <laughs> oh shit. That's horrible. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to grind followers, aren't I? Shit. talking about or was um instead of like for fast food places in particular like marketing how fresh the food is or how nice the workplace is it'd be fun if they just did really frank and honest brand campaigns like for taco bell you could be like you know where you're going tonight <laughs> and it's just like an ad of somebody sitting on the toilet <laughs> or <laughs> um We'll see you tomorrow for sh or we know we'll see you tomorrow, like over like the McDonald's drive through. <laughs> like just like really prank stupid shit like that. We're like that'd be hilarious. Cause it seems like every company is trying to make themselves seem as like PC and happy go lucky as they can. It'd be great if one of them just went like full aggro. so angry oh so this is what i look like with no ring light the lighting isn't that bad but i do have a shadow here hmm. i'm keeping the ring light off today i'm gonna let my eyes rest easy smasher past ronald mcdonald um he was way too hard the statues were a bit too cold so pass also, I don't like clowns. It's not my favorite RP. <laughs> Never such a thing as- Oh, no! I ain't saying that. Mm -mm. You're not into clown play. <laughs> No, I'm not. It's the only stream, everybody. <laughs> Mac is dissenting. 
What? How dare you. To prison you go. Huh? Your <laughs> Kobobo is mod check. Kobobo is probably still sleeping. I think they said before they sleep in usually. And then my stream is what makes them wake up in the morning. <laughs> Was so creepy. Excuse me, leader. I just wanted to say that I love you. Okay. Dude, why did everybody like shit themselves? Come on. Guys, are you little babies? I wish I could sleep in late, but I can't do it anymore. I feel bad. Like, I feel like if I sleep in, I'm missing out on time that I could be working. I was like, Mac, you okay? You mean like your body doesn't like it when you get too much rest? You get aches when you sleep in, huh? old. You know, old people be aching all the time. Sorry, bro. I didn't mean to bother you in there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need more followers. I forgot. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, I'll do one more Darkwood run. Oh shit, I forgot. I, damn it, I can turn in my tears. If anybody else wants to join my cult, use your channel points and we will make a character in your honor. Because I need to get four more. Oh, I also need to post um, a new TikTok. Dude, TikTok changed the font to the font they used on Twitter, where it still is sans serif, but the letters are like whiter, and it looks whack. Oh no, not a hammer! Please! I hate hammers. You don't have TikTok anymore? <laughs> I think TikTok is actual brain rot. If I could delete it, I would. But I only really use it to post. I, I do... Oh, 
I do like browse TikTok a lot more now. Or not browse, I just look at my homepage for like... Every time I post, I usually stay on the app for like 10-15 minutes and just look at my free page. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going home. Fuck this. Why, why is- why- I can't go home. Okay. It's not letting me teleport home. Just look, look at the bottom right. I can teleport. Okay, I, I have to die here. I, I can't do anything. <laughs> Sorry. Ever since I broke my old phone, aka my TikTok phone, by biting it, it was unusable. Were you like teething on your phone? <laughs> yeah, there's other shit you can nibble on, dude. <laughs> wait, so wait, Potato, you're saying you have two phones as well? Huh? You ever see those videos of cats biting laptop screens? That's what you did? Yeah, maybe like <laughs> just one phone? See, you give me shit all the time. Two phones, rich streamer, and you had two phones yourself. SMH. Bang, bam. Yeah, I, I think Potato was just craving some nice lithium batteries. So many here. Oh, he's actually talking. Lamb, damned lamb, I know you were there. I smell you. What has become of us? Okay, I didn't mean to skip through the lore, but it seems like he's really angry. Here, you can go pray. I think you need to fix yourself. I think Potato should go on to... It's not my strange addiction, but the show where they eat weird shit. Where it's like, every day, I make sure to chew on five cups of sand. But for Potato, it's like, every day, I make sure to chew two whole cell phones down to the battery, down to the wiring, the circuit boards. Okay, now we have 16. We can do another run. You're chewing on an android? How dare you? Androids are great. I steal phones <laughs> to do this. I've stolen two of my mother's phones, three of my father's, and every single one of my siblings' phones. I think it's just probably something you do one time, and then it becomes another time. It's like with any like tick or little little mannerism you have. The more you do it, the more you can't stop doing it. I think we just should just compensate all of Potato's phones, or just get you like a pacifier. <laughs> But I think that's the wildest thing I've heard. I'm trying to think, do I do anything weird like that? You guys are so silly. Chief? 
Lamb, this is not a favor. I do not need your charity. But when dear brother Narinder struck us in fury, my eyes were torn from the socket. One was salvaged and hidden in the tangled darkwood. I despair at the thought of it being uncovered by some simple-minded beast. You have navigated my realm once before. Do so again and recover my eye. Perhaps we can make an arrangement. Ooh, lore! Okay, there's actual lore now. I guess back to dark would we go. Wow, you did it truly are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Okay, so it seems like when you indoctrinate the... Whatever you call them, they give you more missions. I was shocked that the phone I was riding on broke one day. Horribly terrified. I thought this would never happen. Guess I must steal another two cell phones from my father. To make up for this loss. <laughs> okay, I need to find Leshy and give him a, a nice little necklace. Because I want Leshy to live forever. Wait, why is Leshy not praying? I told Leshy to pray. yet. Do not eat glass. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. It is not good. Oh, here's Leshy. Oh, I don't have the live forever necklace. No, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. Question, Potato. Have you stopped chewing on cell phones? Oh. Right now it's just the phone case? Okay. That's getting there. You know, at least you're not gonna eat the glass. kids when you were younger? No? Okay. <laughs> Dude, we had a few biters at my school. <laughs> we just knew to stay away from those kids. Waits to receive a moon necklace so they spend all day and all night working for me. As punishment. Kids of Bart are evil? No, they're just misguided. Or they're carnivores, we can't tell.
Or there are secretly vampires. Okay, so I need to go back to Darkwood. Yeah, I, I fiddle like that with my earphone case too. Because, like, I never had a fidget toy when I was little. Like, I had little, like, ticks and shit. But my parents never got me a fidget toy. They only got my sister fidget toys. Not that I was jealous. I think since I didn't have a fidget toy when I was younger, that's why I bit my nails a lot. Because I didn't have, like, any other physical outlet. I think I'm ready to go. After I chop down this tray. Oh wait, I need to re-educate Mac. Because Mac hates me. Typical. I would be munching on that stylus, y'all. <laughs> oh, it's 11-11. Make a, make a wish, everybody. I wish for my tummy ache to go away. Oh, take some medicine, or maybe drink some water. You could be hydrated, or dehydrated. Oh, I didn't like have something that I would always chew on. But like the Polly Pocket clothing for the light God in this. Can I go home? Why can't I? I can't teleport home anymore. The Polly Pocket clothes for fine dining? I know. Because I saw this one like meme template and it's like one of those swipe through like picture carousels and it's like 2000s kids what were you munching on <laughs> and it was like um, those little hand sticky slime things there was poly pocket clothing there was the putty <laughs> why don't you get a pacifier because I'm not a baby I do feel like people, like the teenagers, treat their vapes like actual pacifiers. Like, joking, not joking. Dude, I used to chew the Barbie hands too! <laughs> you actually drink and vape it, it's smoky nasty. What about feet? Oh, the Barbie feet. Oh, I got scared. I was... Why is feet... Okay, I'm making an executive decision. I'm writing a few blocked words. I'm also adding the word ban or banned. Because I hate when you guys type in the chat, banned. I, I hate that shit. It, 
I know that I don't do shit that would warrant a termination, but I get scared. Like during the the C word. This is fascist? No, this is. This is fascist. <laughs> Okay, receive double the health when healing. I love that. You try to retaliate against me, get punished. Okay, when heal when killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing or oh, reveal the map. I hate revealing the map. I think I can only like jokingly time out people. I would never jokingly ban somebody. Because when you ban somebody, oh, shit. then you get put onto like people's shared bans list. But a timeout doesn't really mean much. You guys wanna hear something funny? I accidentally banned myself on my art channel. Because instead of modding this channel on my piece and art channel, I accidentally banned it. <laughs> Oh shit. Because depending on what mod settings you have in a channel, you can like moderate the channel and you can also um, access their clip collection and also their stream bot collection. <clears throat> so I was trying to access my piece and art bots on my main account and it wasn't working. I was like, what the fuck? And then I saw that I banned myself. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Don't put shit that is too small inside your mouth. It's not safe. You know, those have choking hazard reasons or warnings for a reason. Like, you should not be guzzling your earbud case. Ooh, deals poison damage. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. Okay, so this must be the mission where I can get the eye. I don't think I've ever choked on anything. I've only really choked on, like, water. Thankfully, I've never had to do the a self hind like Ooh, pick up Eye of Leshy. Oh, it's a relic. Orbiting eyes that damage enemies on contact. See no evil. I can't go home. Why can't I go home? I'm gonna see if I maybe messed up my settings. No, the settings are right. I'm holding down ZR, but it's not letting me teleport. I am Kalulu's. Yeah, I just want to go straight to a combat room. I don't want to go too far. Oh, come on, really? KO? Holy! Oh, I'm sorry, Potato. That- that sounds scary. But also... Right, when you're in second grade, you're like... Seven, right? That, 
That is like typical seven-year-old behavior. <laughs> you just want to like guzzle shit down. You did it again? Okay. <laughs> Not gonna lie, brain dead seven-year-old brain move. <laughs> But, I mean, that could be a party trick. You know, people can like swallow swords. You can be like, I can swallow whole pear slices. Yeah, but you, I'm not endorsing it. I'm just saying it's a joke. It's a joke. Twitch that. I'm joking. Ooh, I'll travel. Take a little trip. Me are kind of cool though. This was the relic that I got from Leshy's eye. I'm getting every single bone because I do too many sermons. I need to get every single little scrap I can. It's 11.21. I have- I probably have time for like 30 more minutes. I have a meeting. I have to go to. This is an eyesore. We need beauty to come celebrate your glory. Let us build decorations in your honor. No. I want it to look ugly. Also, I don't want to decorate the place. I can't. I'm not good at decorating shit in game.
Why is Mac just sleeping here? Do you not have a house? I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I have a lot of houses. Why? Why are you just sleeping on the ground? Silly? Mac is just used to be a bum sleeping wherever. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I do make them go on a lot of missions. Like, I I think my main demons right now is this Mac, so the one that's actually sleeping. So it's probably like they're just so exhausted from kicking ass, they don't even want to walk to their house. <laughs> and then I also use this version of Kim. And then Najul. Mac is hard carrying. Yeah, I think it's because. Yeah. I chose to level up that version of Mac the most because I need better heals. I'm gonna upgrade the next two next. Fleshy lore. We have it! I feel the presence of a relic on my flesh. Be its caretaker for now. Something may yet be done. He sounds so scary. <laughs> okay, time for another run. Now I, th I think I can go to the next world. We could do a few attempts at this one. Benjamin in the box. Oh, remind me if we get another fox. to sacrifice a level 4 follower. That's bullshit. Oh yeah, we named him your mom. I forgot. <laughs> Tell me, godly one. You crave more. Of course you do. But what god is satisfied with what merely is? As you have seen with the bishops, there is a state that exists betwixt the layers of this world. Purgatory, some may call it. Enter once daily, whilst mortal time stagnates. The blasphemous souls of purgatory may be expiated for as long as you wish, or survive. Time will stand still in this world. Your followers will need nothing of you while you venture there. And should more god tears find your way to you, your mom awaits. <laughs> yeah, you may enter purgatory once a day. When a purgatory time will pause at your cult. Okay, let's give him some tears, cry a river, and then we'll try out purgatory. necklace. A follower will, will never descend. I don't really need that. I could just imprison them. A new follower for a dog. I'm 
just skipping through the little cutscene. I don't want to get addicted to gambling. Okay, final tier. New follower gift. Follower gains the immortal trait. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to enter purgatory just yet. So I need a level four. I don't even have any level threes. Okay, I'm gonna level up Max since they're close enough. And we'll sacrifice them for the cause. But that'll take time. I might have a few gifts, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't have any presents. Do everything we can to swoon them. <laughs> okay, nothing else can be done. Okay, potato said I should make an orange fox named Benjamin. We do have a fox right here. Whenever I hear Benjamin, I think of Jimin. Oh, I need to be careful. It's not that I don't. Oh, I. Benjamin. Ben Benjamin. Min. No, Benjamin is kind of cute. I'm keeping the M. Scratch that. It's not that I don't like. What you call it? It's not that I don't like BTS. It's just they're not my favorite. Now you talking about me behind my back? No, I didn't. I didn't. I would never talk shit. It was the chatters talking shit, not me. Yeah, when you're timed out, you can see the chat. But it wasn't me. At everybody who was talking shit, not me. <laughs> oh, you should go pray. You were timed out for 15 minutes? No, you weren't. You're lying. Mac, you're capping. It says you got timed out for 60 seconds. Literally. It said 60 seconds. <laughs> That's why I got scared. I was like, where did- No, dude, I'm literally not lying. I'm not lying. It's, it was literally 60 seconds. You're capping. You're capping. Where's my other mod so they can clear my name? <laughs> Mac is slandering. 
No, I'm serious. Maybe. Because I clicked the 60 seconds button. Oh, I don't mean to give you a gift, sorry. I want you to work. But thank you for waiting, Mac. I had a rumor that Mac was tied up for 60 minutes. No, you weren't. I've never timed out somebody for an hour. It was not an hour. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Can you even time out somebody for... Okay. I'm gonna try this. Because you can do a custom amount of timeout. Let's see. Can you even do, like, random as amounts of time so 15 times 60 um kim this is for fun this is for this is for science 900 seconds oh you can't you can do custom seconds how do i untime out there we go kim you're free mag is literally lying i timed them out for a minute for a minute because in order to do a 15 minute timeout, I have to manually type in how many seconds. You're ruining Kim's record? No, it's, it's clear. We wiped the record. Kim was on good behavior. You mistyped? No, I didn't mistype. Because when I time people out, what I do... There's several ways to do it, Mac. I'll, I'll show you another day. But you, you can either... There's hover states to where you can time somebody up for 10 minutes. You can click on the profile. And then at the bottom of the um, user card, it has 10 seconds, 1 minute, 10 minutes, and 30 minutes. Or you can do custom, where you can type in how many seconds or minutes you want to ban. So I just did 1 minute. I think Mac got mad. They walked away from the computer and came back 10 minutes later. I think the villain here is Twitch. Um, Twitch staff, close your ears. But, yeah. To an extent. But also, there are a lot of shithead shatters. Not here, but all over Twitch. It glitched and it times you out for too long. Even when you refresh the tab? That's weird. Hmm. That is kind of weird, though. It should not have done that. The only time I would time somebody up for that long is if it's kind of like an actual timeout. Like your parents make you sit for like 10 minutes. And then they're like, do you know what you did wrong, son? And you're like, yes, father. I only have two bones? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I dumb fucked up. Banning peace for exposing Twitch? No! You know what's funny? If you work for Twitch, you can't become a partnered streamer. I don't think. You can still get a verification badge, but you can't, like, get income. No, I'm playing a bit. I messaged Kim and told her I'm gonna leave for a bit as a bit. You're so fucking stupid. I knew you were gonna do that shit. I knew. And you're trying to slander me? One day, Mac is gonna get seriously banned. <laughs> or they're gonna become a hate watcher. So stupid. I got kind of upset so like, did Mac get mad? <laughs> <laughs> so we good, we good, we Gucci. Because, like, I only had to time out one person before, and I felt really bad after. You're just playing Kirby? Okay. I do get very worried whenever I have, like, a some, like, negative interaction with anybody. Whether it be like online or in person, because I'm worried about like 
that interaction that I do will like ruin their day. And I feel really bad sometimes. Pardon me, leader. I would love some of the flowers from Darkwood Dungeon if you could collect some. Sure, I'll do it. I actually have to go there anyway. I think it's because like sometimes little things will ruin my day. Um, I think it was Wednesday. I had to go out and I had to go to the doctor. <laughs> and so you know how most bus routes work? They like either loop around in one direction and then they go around in the opposite direction, right? So this guy, he walks up to me at the station. He's like, oh, are you going on this bus? I'm like, yeah, it'll be here in like 10 minutes. And he's like, okay, great. So it was me, him, and then another guy waiting for the bus to come. And this bus, it goes from town A to town B, right? And it loops every hour. And then so in the inverse, it would go from town B to town A. So I was trying to go the first direction and he was trying to go to the town. He was going trying to go the opposite direction. So as he steps on the bus, he's like, hey, is this town is this bus going to town B? This sounds like mad word. Well, I can't leak. <laughs> oh, so he's like, hey, does this bus go to town B? And the driver's like, no, it, it stays in town A. Like it loops around town A. And he was like, oh shit, I need to go to town B. And he's like, well, you gotta wait for the bus to loop around. And then he's like, okay. So the guy steps off the bus and I'm like about to approach the bus. And as he's talking to the bus driver, I'm like trying to find the bus routes on my phone so I can tell him what time the bus will be back to where he needs to go, right? So as I'm looking at my phone, waiting for them to like figure it out, um, the bus driver, okay, the guy steps off the bus and the bus driver starts driving away. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm literally like jumping up and down. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you miss me. And, and then the other two guys were, who were waiting to stop with me were like started yelling, also jumping up and down. <laughs> and thankfully the, the bus driver like stopped <laughs> like at, right before he was about to pull out of the station. That way I could get on. <laughs> So like, that kind of interaction, like if I'm having a bad day, like already, would have like ruined my day. But I was kind of in a good mood for some fucking reason on Wednesday and I was like, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. But yeah, I mean, um, he, it's probably because the bus driver assumed that the other two people, me and then another guy, were trying to get to the town B. But it, it's whatever. <laughs> Why do people show up to the bus stop without knowing the route? Well, it's because usually they anticipate that somebody will be at the station to help them. Um, because what they've kind of done in my county is they now have a public transit security officer in every single station, like every major station. So it's just like a, a police car that's marked slightly differently. Oh, it's a boomerang! That was sick! Um, so they usually have somebody like in person that you can ask any questions or like how routes work. Because not all stations have like a, um, what you call it? like a little sign that has the bus routes on it. It's kind of stupid. And then on the buses, they used to have like little booklets that would have every single bus route in the in that county and then the neighboring counties. So they also stopped distributing those books. So they have signs inside the buses that are like, oh, scan the QR code and you can go to the website to see the bus routes. So little things like that is going back to homelessness. It's trying to repress people's, like, access to information. That way it kind of restricts people who don't have internet access to ride the bus. And it's stupid. Because what about people who are traveling? You know? Okay, higher chance of relic spawning or one attack, 10% chance of getting damage. I'll do the getting damage. Uh, what was I saying? So... A lot of people assume that there's going to be information at the station, but there's not. And then... I think also... It gives you like a reason to talk to people. 
like usually at, at train or bus stations there's a good handful of people so you're like if you're a bit more social you're like oh i could just ask somebody there casually i don't know if you're bored you know talking to people is kind of fun Okay, dead bodies, dead enemy bodies explode, damaging other enemies, or when hit down to half hard, all enemies will be dealt to damage. I'll do the exploding bodies. Yeah, I don't like talking to people at the bus stop either. Somebody has died! But if somebody, like, um... Ask me for directions, I'll answer them, but I don't hold the conversation. There was one guy, I was at the station the other day, and he was like, pacing around. Like, the whole time he's like 20 feet away from me, so he was quite a ways from me. But he was like, he would stare at me, and he had like this big old smile on his face. And I'm just like, uh, there's an older guy, and I'm like, eh, smile, eh. Dude, Mac, that's scary, that's like some vigilante shit. That seems like, if, that seems like some like interaction you'd see as like a side dialogue in like an action movie. Yeah, I agree. Whenever I have to do public transit, I make sure to like plan out all the routes as meticulously as I can. I also try to find backup bus routes in case it's running late. All that jazz. Dude, me too. Like, I need to see, like, the street view, where parking is, like, where I can put my bike. I think it's because, like, if I have an idea of, like, the layouts, then I feel less anxious. Because I'm I'm really scared of new areas. And not, like, scared scared. I'm more, like, anxious about, like, getting lost or wasting my time. It also feels like I'm more in control. Okay, let's see. I need more followers! Dude, the enemy hit his friend! Silly. Oh my god. Since the enemies explode, I don't get any bones. That's not ideal. Okay, I don't think I'll take that card anymore. I didn't realize. Okay, plus one blue heart or reveal the map. I'm taking the blue heart because revealing the map is D U M. Public buses are so stressful. I assume it's far more stressful for like the drivers. Cause like having to manage that many people. And also in my opinion, like driving larger vehicles is just stressful in its own. But I've only seen like a few bus drivers pop off. 
like yell at a rider, but it's usually like warranted. Like that, there was that one time where like 30 little middle schoolers hopped on the bus and the bus driver like kept their cool the whole time. And the kids were so fucking loud. Like if that was on a school bus, the bus driver would probably scream at them to shut the fuck up. Like that kind of laugh, right? And the bus driver was cool, he was gone. Okay, see his tongue spawn bombs across the room. One time you dropped your coffee on the bus? Oh no, that's like my actual nightmare. Like, oh no. Because I get so scared, or not scared, I get so upset like spilling shit in public. I've only done it once. I think I dropped like a, like a coffee outside of the shop. But like, all I can think about is like, somebody has to like, take time out of their work, they're probably busy, and then they gotta clean it, and then I look like a little dumbass. No. Poison. Different buses have different shit. Have different ways for people who have like wheelchairs or the motorized wheelchairs to sit. Some have like a designated empty space where the seats will lift up and then they're kind of like strapped in with hooks. Some have just like a, a pull down bar with straps. Take these axe. Oh. This one is poison though. Actually, I'm keeping the poison one. If it does less damage, that's fine. So usually the, the ones that are designed in my area are fairly quick. Which is nice. But the only issue that has come up, this didn't happen to me, but my friend was telling me about this. So there was three people who needed a designated wheelchair seat. And um the, the driver could only take two and it was really and the the three people were getting like really upset because they they had to choose which two could go so the the bus driver had to leave one of them but at the bus stop and then he had to wait another like 30 minutes probably for the next bus but it's like how do you solve that problem because it's not like there's always going to be somebody who needs that designated seat. Um, but it's still... You can't really... Because the, the way that the buses are designed now... Um, it could allow for more accessible seating. They would just have to rearrange the interiors. But even to get those designated uh, seating, it took like a year for them to distribute all the buses and like remodel them. So... It was just like poor circumstance. Because the thing I don't understand about some of the bus designs, because depending on what county you go in, the buses are designed differently. How did they figure out who went? I don't know, they were- my friend told me they were like yelling at each other, and then- I don't know, they probably just- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they are probably just like, pulled straws or something. I don't know. Um, okay, overall weapon damage increased by 1.2, or attack rate increased by 1.25. Because something that I didn't understand is that some buses are designed to where they have like, about 10 seats, and then they have steps, and then 10 more seats, and like an upper layer. And then some other buses I've seen in my county are just, like, like, 25 seats all on one floor. So, theoretically, on that bus that has 25 seats on one floor, those could all be accessible seats, like, if you lift up the seat. Um, 
in my neighboring county, all the buses, they don't even have any accessible seats. Because, like, the buses that are here, they have, like, a metal platform that goes up and down. That way, if you... That way you can roll on the bus. Um, but in a neighboring county, they only have buses that have steps. So nobody can ride that bus if you have a wheelchair or a walker. So... That, why is it because there's like le uh, legislation that mandates that all public spaces have to be accessible right so why are those buses not access i never thought about that because like some of the bus i can't say what county but some of the buses in my neighboring county which is a pretty big county they have steps you have to walk up there's no accessible seating I'll have to look into that. I'll ask my friend. Okay, when killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing or 10% chance of getting a blue heart. I'll, I'll look at the healing. Both of these are the same, essentially. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, all the buses in that county that, um... that don't have ramps or that are all steps those are buses that go on highways but they don't have seatbelts for the normal passengers I don't know. oh oh hello Yeah, the normal buses, like you said, they have disability in the front and then steps up to a higher level. But the bigger buses don't have any accessible seating. this bus anyway um i think most of our buses have the pulley thing and then some like accessible seating has like buttons on the seat handles or on the, the standing railing so most buses have both your buses are bad nice yeah it's because they got new buses entirely i think when they added the accessible seating Yeah, our buses are pretty good. Okay, Chaz. Oh no, somebody died. <laughs> Oopsie. Hey, get in there. everybody I have 16 followers what 
happened to all my followers? Because it says I have 16. All my low level followers are gone. Yeah, I, I did ads already. I just did them quietly. Save and then reload the game. Oh, I can't save here. Okay. were never able to save no you can't save when you're on the crusade run but once you're at, at home base you can save at any time okay let's see what happens save it all I do think there is an auto save function in this game though imagine my whole save is wiped Okay, it still says I have 16 followers. Everybody peace, I do pray that everything's still there. Everybody's back! Okay. So, I guess... Yeah, everybody's back. Oh, yeah, okay. So, it did autosave. 
You saved. What happened last Meiji reset? I think... Because sometimes when you die on a crusade, I've noticed in the boss fight, it's happened like two other times where it's glitched. Oh no, I gave this... I gave this follower live forever necklace. Damn it. Here, you want another necklace, honey? Take it. Oh no, when I sacrifice, I'm gonna lose that necklace. I can't take the gift back. That's not how gifts work. God damn it. I would like to live forever. That's the only line I know from that song. <laughs> Bye, Titans, welcome in. Okay, let us see if we can open the gate. Next next time we'll do Cold Lamb, we'll open the gates. Nora, sacrifice a level four follower to open. Everybody? Peace I two seven, Mac. This is for the cause. so sad oh no how horrible <gasps> bitch <laughs> you used your points to be sacrificed it was meant to be that is right okay um it's 12 over 7 I'll do one run. I'll do one run of Anora, just so we can see what it's like. Because I have to end stream by 12.30. Damn, Mac is gone. Why have I been automated? Did you say a slur? It's not even in my automod queue. You must have said something horrible. You got insta-deleted. <laughs> Uh-oh. didn't or maybe you said a word that's like banned because like some words that aren't like bad words are banned like um f-e-e-t is now a banned word typing b-a-n and any iteration of that word is banned is blocked i mean This is discrimination? No, it's not. You know, I'm just making the chair room as safe as it can be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would explain why, but it was only to expose Kim. Yeah, I saw Kim was asking about socks. <laughs> you know, I do hope. 
that once Kim starts working, she'll be less of a degen. Oh yeah, there has been times where, like, unknowingly, there's been, like, words in English that are bad words in other languages. That could be another thing. Is it too dark? It's not that- it's not that dark. Oh, lore update! Enemies in Anora have grown strong. Oh wait, I can return home now! Kinda silly. Hi, Kimori, welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello! Hope you're doing well today, hon. Oh my god, I hated these frogs. They're so frustrating. Question, question. Is that a manual resubscription? If so, can I ask why you chose to subscribe? Because I think Kimari's been a lucky little shit and gotten a gifted every single month. <laughs> For four months? Can I ask? If you'll oblige. Well, thank you, hon. You will get your name written in the rich person journal today. Okay, curses consume 25% less fervor, or fervor replenishes fully when entering a new combat room. I'll do 25% less. Because I feel welcome every time I come here? Aww. That's good. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you, I appreciate it, Kimori. I'm glad you enjoy your time here. We love the EU frogs. Now we can be really mean to Kimori. <laughs> <laughs> you had to cancel your prime? Me too, man, and I feel really sad about canceling it. Wait, plus one follower? Thank you. Guys, plus one. Yeah, I had to cancel my prime, because me and my roommate, we're just gonna share it between everybody in the house. So that means I just can't buy any bad things. <laughs> Clonic. Sister Chemek's madness was foreseen in the first turn of the cards, drawn by her own kin, as I have always done. Is destiny the grail which must be pursued, or the force which drives one onward? Come, let us draw once more. The first card a beacon, the second a shadow, the third something lost, or perhaps taken. Hard inverted, it must be sought. The cards speak a relic calls, yours to seek and to claim. What were you buying before? No, I didn't. I would never buy anything sus from Amazon because all I can think about. Okay, damages everything on screen or better chess. I'll do disease start. Because all I can think about is like the minimum wage. Okay, some Amazon workers do make a higher minimum wage. Um, like the low paid Amazon worker having to package like adult products. And I feel very like sad. <laughs> Because I- you know, like, the running joke during pandemic is, like, everybody was buying that shit. <laughs> so it's like... I would feel bad. They should be happy for me. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Another thing I always wondered for, like, those distribution or, like, um... I guess packaging centers. Anything that's, like, adult? Like, do they allow, like, kids to package it? Because I know for some facilities, they let, like, 16-year-olds work, right? Like, do they just have, like, a separate room where they package that type of thing? I was always, like, I always wonder. Oh, I hate... Oh, I hate all of this. 
they I assume some workers would find it really funny. <laughs> They're just like, oh, this is the fifth one today! Beeson out here talking about adult stuff and we can't say feet. <laughs> no, I didn't explicitly say it. There's a huge difference. It's one of those, if you know, you know. Okay, heck it. Foul beast, how dare trap me thus. If you insist I suffer, so shall you. I lightly tapped it on my desk. And that's a little bit of Enora, guys. Um, that was on easy mode. Oh no. <laughs> Paul, go. <laughs> this is why it's broken. Yeah, when I just go, this is, if this is the desk, and I do that. That's why it's broken. Okay, everybody. Let's save here for today. And wrap up stream, because I have to leave soon. Okay, so check us. Thank y'all for watching Golden Lamb. We beat Darkwood. We entered Anora. So next time we play, we'll hopefully get more lore. Oh yeah. Um, we did get a resubscription today from Kimori. I think at a six month resub, you'll get a new badge in chat. So we do get to do calligraphy. So if you're new here, anybody who donates to the channel or uses their channel points will get their name written. So I'm going to get that set up. Once again, thank you to everybody who donated yesterday to help unlock today's bonus subscriber-only stream. Let's do Mario Kart music, because I heckin' love Mario Kart. My back just popped.
Thank you for redeeming Potato. We'll do your name next. I should probably turn a light on, huh? Really, this is kind of dark. Maybe a little bit better. Oh yeah, a lot better. Oh, see the difference a ring light makes? Oh, Lee, look at that. I'm not even lifting. I do need to do some weight training once I can handle it. Hey, chew in my ring line? Your mouth is that big? Kind of sus. What do you guys think of the morning stream? I mean, I feel like less uh, domestic, like the United States people are up this early, but probably the EU frogs like it. I think I'll still do the normal 11 time slot and then bonus streams in the evening. I only stream in the morning today because I, ha I, I literally have to leave the house in like an hour, so. I would chew on the ring light if I had one. Do not give yourself a ring light. You already broke your phone. <laughs> um, but thank you, Kimari, for the resub. I appreciate it. You won't regret it. <laughs> nice color. Yeah, I think it is very close to your Twitch color. I wish because, like, the color here is different than what's on, like, the actual Twitch POV, but it's like this periwinkle E or blue, which I wish I had a pen for. Because it is a lovely blue. But thank you, Kimari. Okay, now we have channel point names. You can use your channel points, and I will write your name for free. Next in line. I will make this promise right here, right now, on a sub only stream, so only subs will hear this. Or VOD watchers on the YouTube channel. No matter how big I get, or no matter how many donations I get in one sitting, I will still write everybody's name. I think the only limit, like, let's say you become a 1K Andy, and then I get like 100 subs every day. That'd be crazy. Um. I think the only limit I would have to put is probably limit how many people can use their channel points. Like, you know how only one person can do rainbow, but literally every viewer can redeem the normal I write your name on Q and stuff. Literally as many people as they want can redeem. I think I would have to put a limit on that. And then maybe because like let, let's say you watch like somebody like Hassan, he probably literally gets, because he has like 70,000 subs. So that means he probably has like hundreds and hundreds of resubs every stream. So I think I would have to put a limit on how many resub names I write, but then probably just do gifted. I don't know. I'm obviously not going to get to that point, but like realistically. Like, if Hassan 
wrote every, like, 200 resubs he get every day, that's like an extra... One minute per name. Holy. That's like three hours? <laughs> you don't know that? Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm- I'm- okay, let's be honest, I'm not, like, pretty enough. Most everybody who's popping in terms of, like, female creators are, like, really cute, let's say. Are there any plus-size female streamers that are, like, popping? Kind of sad. I, I literally can't think of one. Because, like, I'm thinking about not just streamers I watch, but also, like, the streamers that Twitch itself highlights. There's not a lot. I have to look through, like, all the Twitch ambassadors, because they have, like, a, a, a page on their website that lists all the ambassadors they have. Because I, I would love one day to become a Twitch ambassador. I think that'd be fun. But then I'd have to be more PC. I can't say bad words. A trailblazer? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you guys would have to help me. Chat would be so strict. What do you mean? I mean, like, I would, like, reel you guys in? Or would you guys be aggro? Oh, yeah, yeah. If I had a lot of viewers, I would be very strict with how chat would work. Because <laughs> it's also, like, very... It's very easy for a chat room of that size to get out of control in the sense of like people dogpiling or like fighting each other in the chat. Could the OGs be bad? Only VIPs I think can misbehave. Okay, we had potato. bad after peace bullies you that is kind of true though because usually the chatters that i do shit on more than others are like people i know that won't take it personally <laughs> or have been here a while that's why like i i've talked about this before but like i'm usually a bit more like sweet with newer viewers because you know i don't know they're if they like goofing or gaffing yet hey everybody this is going to be the last name of the day. Any other redeemers, do so now. I come here to get bullied? Dude, you're sounding like titans. Boy, what is it with my chat that attracts the, um, s and <laughs> Okay, everybody. That was the last name of the day. If you want to redeem, you have five seconds. Time's up. <laughs> okay, chat. Everybody. 
I would like to thank you all for watching any chatter circuits. Thank you all for hanging out during, during this bonus subscriber only morning rare stream. Rare peace and stream. Um, I'm busy tomorrow because I have literally um, um, a bold little homework to do. So I will not be live tomorrow. I. Next stream day will probably most likely be Monday on the art channel. I didn't go live on Peace and Art this week, so. I'll probably be live on the art channel on Monday. So, if you aren't already, follow my art channel. It is tagged in the title at Peace and underscore Art on Twitch. Or you can click the link in chat to go follow. Hashtag free to follow. Um, I had fun today. <laughs> I feel like I was a little bit more silly, but also more quiet. It's weird. So. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Have fun in the sun. I think next next weekend is Memorial Day weekend, so I think we'll do a Mario Kart tournament with viewers. Meggy Sports make a makes a comeback, guys. So that'll be next next weekend. Okay. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I don't know why I do like the, the really bad British accent whenever I end. I think it's funny. Okay. Bye. Bye, Kim. Bye, Mac. Okay, bye guys.